Hello, I'm Joe Gentili. I'm a partner at Saraf Gentili LLP. Today's video is to address a specific question that's come up in my practice a couple of times recently. And the question is, can a beneficiary waive their right to support under an I-864 by signing a prenuptial agreement or a postnuptial agreement? It's not uncommon when an immigrant is sponsored that they are asked by their spouse to sign some sort of agreement that will waive their ability to ask for alimony or spousal maintenance in the event of a, a divorce. And sometimes those agreements will specifically mention 864 and sometimes they won't. So in federal court, generally the answer is, is that the, um, the 864 right is not waivable. You can't release it. And federal courts have given two reasons for this primarily. Reason number one is that that obligation, the 864 obligation, exists to protect the government. The government wants to make sure that if uh, a sponsored immigrant is not taken care of, that the sponsor is the one who's ultimately responsible to pay for their support and not the government. So to have the sponsor be able to just shake off that responsibility simply by signing an agreement when they sponsor somebody just be a little too easy to frustrate the government's purpose there so it's one reason why the courts uh, disallow it another reason is is the language of 864 itself 864 gives five distinct ways that the obligation of support ends divorce is not one of those reasons uh, the signing of a prenup or a postnup is not one of those reasons, so it's just not contemplated in the agreement itself. State courts, on the other hand, have held that um, it can be waivable. So fortunately for beneficiaries, for immigrants looking to um, enforce their 864 rights, you have the option and the ability to file in federal court as opposed to state court. So while state courts are a little more unpredictable, that unpredictability can be avoided by deciding to file in federal court. Thank you.